is a fabulous casino, the Golden Gate. As I'm sure you know if you've watched before. And the company has basically bought there Plus Glitter Gulch there. Plus the Golden Goose there. And of course the Las Vegas Club at the end. So they already own the D in Golden Gate. So this is, I assume, all down here is going to be a brand new casino. I'm not sure when it opens. It's going to be pretty damn good when it does. So they're still demolishing the Las Vegas club. One tower left to go. It's going to be really interesting to see what they uh, build in its place. I uh, don't think it's been announced yet, or not that I'm aware of anyway, but... Uh, it's quite good uh, square footage in this particular area, so it should be a fairly expansive resort, I would think. Let's have a look at uh, how the new property here is looking. Well, it's not looking at all. They've basically dug a hole for the foundations. That's it. But apparently the name of this new resort, 18 Fremont, is going to be announced this coming Thursday. So I'm very much looking forward to revealing that to you if I get to hear it. So Suzanne and I... Uh, heading off to the uh, Outlet Mall and look at what they've done with Circa since I was last here. I mean there was literally nothing here apart from foundations. Um, I'm standing with uh, the cow behind me and they've got the parking garage over there It's being built. So yeah it's beginning to take shape. They've done a hell of a lot in three months. Uh, and you can see you know, the hotel tower is really coming along. They've got the glass uh, sort of midway up now um, and also the pool deck, which is that uh, the bit um, to the right of it. Uh, if you look under the crane, you can see the outline of the pools going in. I understand from Richard yesterday that uh, there's going to be six of them. Uh, it's going to be absolutely stunning when it's finished. Um, estimated opening date, I think, is December 2020. Uh, so we will see if that's uh, achieved. excited to bring you finally a walkthrough of Circa in downtown Vegas. I guess the best way I can describe Circa having stayed here for a couple of days now is if I was to personally design a casino to appeal to both the fact I you know you, you like the new resorts and then 
mix that up with some old school Vegas, I would do it exactly like this. Uh, Derek Stevens has actually worked wonders here, um, making it appeal to Vegas historians as well as younger people that just want a brand spanking new resort. So let's go in and uh, take a look. For the next time you're in Vegas, everyone, I would make a beeline for here. It uh, really has taken my breath away. So as you come into uh, Circa, the first thing you're going to see is the Mega Bar. And uh, if you thought the Long Bar at the D was big, you should see this. I mean, I've never... Well, it's definitely the biggest bar I've ever seen. It's so, so impressive. And I used to like the Long Bar at the, at the D, but this, uh, this must be three times bigger, I would guess. Something like that. But the, uh, as with the D, the servers are ultra, ultra friendly. And uh, this is where you can often find Derek Stevens sitting. Uh, I think he normally sits at the towards the end here. Okay, so if you do a, a right at the end of the bar here, you come to the sports book. I'll show you it from both angles, actually. But look at look at this. That's just how impressive is it? It's, it's almost like a mini stadium. All the seating. And one thing I'm really impressed with Circa is just how visible everything is from all levels. You'll see when we go upstairs. So you place your bets at the bottom there, and uh, the tellers are behind the machines there. I mean, the slots are. Every modern game is here. You'd expect that, obviously. And here's another view of uh, the sports book. I think um, Westgate had the biggest sports book at one time, but I would, I would imagine that, that one is bigger. So you've got all the table games in the centre, I can't get too close to those for obvious reasons. But then towards the back of this ground floor, I'm going to show you Vegas Vicky in all her glory. I mean, just look at this. She looks brand new. Just one of the best neons ever. In a way, I wish they'd sort of bring uh, Vegas Vic in and have him standing next to her, you know. But I say, for Derek Stevens to do this, um, I think it says a lot about him in terms of appreciating the history of Vegas, which, although a lot of people appreciate it, not much of it is necessarily retained. <laughs> So through there is Vegas Vicky's cocktail bar. Which is where we had our get together the other night. And that, that sh actually this shows you uh, from a distance the table games and the bar in the background there. Pretty impressive, right? So we go back round this way. I mean, all of the slot machines are so uh, tall now. I, I can't get over this, this trip. They, they, everything's bigger than it was a year and a half ago. <laughs> we'll go around the back of Vegas, Vicky's, and get the escalator up to the second floor. I assume that lights up at night, or maybe not. I think that's just a staffing area out the back there. I'm not. Oh no, sorry, it's the uh, the back entrance. I'll show you this quickly.
Yes, yeah, so this is the entrance uh, out to to the cow. Which is actually not, this isn't dissimilar to sort of the Binion's back entrance just down the road, is it? Now you have to show ID every time you go in. So let me just get mine out. Purely because it's a 21 and over resort, so. You can't scan it, it's UK. Thanks. Now the reason they do it as you come in is so that no one ever has to ask you again to prove your ID once you're in here. So it sort of makes sense. Now see, before we go upstairs, I just want to show you uh, a little quirky little feature here. They actually have British telephone boxes. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? A little bit of the UK in Circa. So they got two there and then one. One this way. A few Wheel of Fortunes there. And actually one thing to mention, they do have an awful lot of Circa shirts and bits and pieces. I think I might uh, buy a glass or two and a few shirts to take home. There's a bigger shop uh, on the next floor that sells a whole load of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go up these escalators. I will meet you on the next floor. Okay, so here we are on the uh, second floor. You've got uh, Garage Mahal <laughs> down there with the parking garage. which I've been reliably informed is the best one in Vegas. <laughs> and as I said, this is what I like about the layout of this place, is everything's accessible and viewable from each floor. So from the second floor here, you can still watch your sports. Well, I imagine if you're watching a big, a big game here, it's gonna be absolutely hopping. Incredible stuff. Okay, and we will go round the slots area. For the first day, I was sort of wandering around this place, um, keep losing myself, but I'm, you very quickly uh, get your bearings. The uh, guest elevators are through there, which I will show you the room in a bit. High limit room at the back here. Quite a decent selection. Oh, these are fun things at the end here, actually. There's the cashier at uh, this side. We've got a uh, restaurant here. Eight East. And look at these. <laughs> I love it. I'm walking back round. The 
It's this uh, Saganov's uh, Delicatessen, which uh, you might remember Richard, uh, Stephen, Jason and myself had the live stream from in there. Very nice uh, deli. You might recognise that guy. And then again, in terms of looking at things from different vantage points, you've got Vegas Vicky again there. Oh, her leg's not kicking tonight, uh, today. Maybe they only turn it on at night. At night, the leg goes up and down, but it doesn't seem to be doing it right now. But that's okay. <laughs> so we'll go around here and then sort of do a loop towards Stadium Swim. Great bar here. I love these sort of bars in the middle with all the optics and that at the back. You don't still get things like that in the UK. And actually just uh, before we go to Stadium Swim, uh, I can recommend this place in the corner. As soon as I arrived yesterday, I ordered a burger from here. And it's like a half pound uh, Banks barbecue burger from Victory Burger and it was absolutely delicious so yeah I had uh, this one here very very nice comes uh, definitely recommended okay got a baseball hat shop in there And this, uh, actually I like this uh, sign as well, I'll quickly show you this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All routes lead to Circa. <laughs> and then around here we have the Circa Essentials shop, which has the best uh, selection of Circa merchandise. They have everything in here, pretty much. All sorts of uh, shirts and God knows what, all in the corner there as well. Very impressive. And now I'm going to walk up to Stadium Swim and show you around there. Now because of the music being played and the fact that I'm likely to get a copyright strike, I'm going to do um, a video with some info about the swimming uh, pool complex here to some music but you'll get to see exactly what it's like so I hope you enjoyed this I will speak to you soon stadium swim to come take care
This is a room tour of uh, room 3505 at Circa, Las Vegas. And a very nice room it is too, as you would expect for a, a brand new property. So as you come in, basically everything uh, in terms of the lights is here. You can either say hi or bye and it turns everything off. So uh, you can do your privacy, night light service, etc. Your entry mirror, you can switch that on and off as well. Uh, so here you have your closet space. You've got a steamer there and a safe. And what I like about, uh, well, a circle as, as a whole, but this room particularly, is some of the little sort of retro touches to a brand new resort. You've got his and her sinks in the bathroom. But it's like, you know, this is the, <laughs> the wallpaper. It's just really cool. <laughs> and then your toilet's around there. And a massive walk-in shower here. So you can actually have a seat at if you like. And all your lotions and what have you come out of those bottles on the, uh, the wall there. Great shower, great pressure. So going into the main area here, you've got a fridge for your own stuff. A massive telly. Which I'll be honest, I haven't actually put on since I've been here. And then a seating area. Pretty cool uh, picture as well. Now you don't actually have a phone in this, this room because everything is done on the tablet. So you can uh, order room service, phone people from the tablet. That's pretty much how it works. And all of your charge points, plug points are there. And next to the bed again, you've got, uh, so again, if I put bright, everything will go on. Very comfy bed. I've just made it because I'm checking out, so it would be made much nicer than that, but I've done my best. <laughs> seat over here. A nice shot of Vegas Vicky's backside. And this is a strip view room. So that's not bad, that's not a bad view, is it, eh? That really isn't a bad view. And actually, if you could go down, you can also see Stadium swim from here. Very nice, huh? So yes, I'm very uh, pleased with this. Thank you very much to Richard Wilk who uh, put me up for the last two nights here. Um, I've got nothing but good things to say about Circa. It's, um, I, I actually didn't think it would, but it's actually exceeded my expectations. So uh, as soon as you get back to Vegas, head here. Speak to you soon.